Hey guys, TechEekHD here again with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at the current case I'm using on my iPhone 4S which is just a generic bumper case. Um, now there are lots of these cases available online um, and today I'm going to be telling you why they're actually a really good choice. Um, now one of the things I've always liked about bumper cases is their design. Now uh, I haven't really had a phone that supports a bumper case for a long time but they really have this really nice design which looks and feels great in the hand. Uh, Besides looking nice, it does give the phone a nice feel. Uh, bumper cases don't add too much bulk to your device and do still give it uh, a fairly decent amount of protection. Also, they do stop the death grip issue that people used to find on the iPhone 4. Um, and they also show off the great design of the iPhone 4, 4S, and now there are actually some bumper cases coming out for the iPhone 5. Now one of the things I really like about this case, as I mentioned before, is that it shows off the beautiful back of your device. Besides for showing off that really, really great back that, um, you know, everyone loves to see, um, it does actually have this lay on the table design, which I love uh, in a case. Now it does have it both on the front and the back, um, because the case does have a lip around it. It's not a very big lip, and some bumper cases have it better than others, uh, but it still does protect your device from getting dust particles and scratching that stuff up. Um, Another thing that is really cool about this case are the cutouts. Now these are nice cutouts as you guys can see for the speaker, microphone, and 30 pin connector. They are a little bit recessed but they do feel and look really really great and work pretty much with all docks and things like that. Uh, then the volume buttons are also covered um, which is really nice. They're covered just like the power button is and I'll show you that in a second and they do give this nice tactile feedback which does feel great. Um, just the only con that I pretty much have about this case is the cutout for the mute switch. Uh, it does seem a little bit too recessed but that does follow along with the rest of the case and you kind of have to dig your nail in to use it. Then at the top there's a recessed cutout for the earphone jack as well as the little secondary microphone and a very um, tactile power button cover. Um, now while the earphone jack works, works perfectly for me it may um, be a bit of a problem for people with headphones with bigger jacks on them. Um, now, uh, another great product or another great feature of this product is that it doesn't bubble up screen protectors. Now, I do have this screen protector on my device, which I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of see with that little glare around the uh, home button. And even if I mess with the case a little bit, you can see it isn't bubbling up or messing with my screen protector at all. Um, now, that might be because it's a nice screen protector or just because the case is really nice and doesn't want to bubble up my screen protector. Anyway guys, uh, with the dual tone kind of clear and colored um, look of this case and the nice feel it has, um, I really do definitely recommend it. I picked this one up for about $4, but you can find it for maybe even a little bit less on eBay, Amazon, and the likes. Anyway, thanks for watching this video.